Hey guys, welcome back to the 4x2 Wagon Family Garage and it's boy, it's been a minute since I posted a video and today I want to do a short video for you guys and explain to you guys why I'm replacing my stock drive shaft with the Adams drive shaft. So first of all, I do want to say that this is my second set of drive shaft I put on here, mainly because when I destroyed the first one, I got the second one for free from a buddy and then I destroyed that. But I do want to add to that is that I also added the TerraFlex, I think it's called the Rebzipa CV, which is supposed to give you additional clearance and angle on the drive shaft so that you can, um, so it'll minimize, you know, damages. But I assure you that did absolutely no good. It was a waste of 200 bucks. So now that I got a little bit of funds saved up, went online and bought these Adams 1310 drive shaft. In this video, I want to show, share with you guys as we go under the Jeep with the camera and show you all the damages that it has caused. So hope the video will be good enough evidence to show you guys why you may want to go and buy an aftermarket drive shaft as soon as possible, especially if you have more than a three and a half inch lift. Now, the reason why I went with the 13 10 versus 1350 is the cost wasn't really all that much difference. I think it was like around two to 300 bucks more. But with my, with the gearing that I have, which is the 513s, I can get away with the 1310s and without any problems. If I had, if I was running the stock gear, then you definitely wanted to upgrade to a 1350. It's just much stronger. And to that point, these Adams drive shaft is going to be twice as strong as your stock drive shaft. Uh, not to mention these are a little bit skinnier too. And that's where you're going to really gain the, the benefit and, you know, keep the drive shaft from grinding on your engine or your other components under your Jeep is because it is skinnier, but stronger. So let's go ahead and go down there. I want to show you guys uh, the, the damages. And then the part two of this video is that we're going to be going up to Barrett Trail and through the Rubicon Trail this month. So we're going to do a lot of wheeling and then on the trail somewhere along the way, we'll do another video showing you guys um, how these Adams drive shaft held up through the trails. And what I'm going to do is it's clear that rubbing is going on right now under my Jeep. So I'm going to spray paint that um, once I install the new drive shaft and then we'll see if that paint will, we'll see if there's any uh, rubbing going on on the trail. And then I will report back to you guys in a different video of how this thing held up, whether or not it resolved the rubbing and the clearance issue, right? So, I hope you guys will stick around for that. So without further ado, let's get started. Okay, so just remove the front drive shaft. And this is obviously the OE. The, all the issues I'm having right now is in this area. And this is what's, what's uh, grinding uh, against part of my Jeep. So I'll show you that in just a few minutes here. But I just want to show you quickly the size difference between the Adams drive shaft and OE. So the Adam is about two inches. Eyeballing roughly two inches. And then the OE is about two and a half here. Over here is just a little bit more, it's about two and three quarters of an inch. And this is again, two inches. It's two inches all the way down from here to here. Then once you get to the, the back end to the transfer case, it's a little skinnier. It's about one and three quarters of an inch. Whereas this thing is uh, almost, well about the same, about two and three quarters to three inches. So just be, just with the size difference here, uh, we should get a lot more clearance, just enough so that it's not going to contact metal to metal underneath. So let's go underneath the Jeep and let me show you guys. <clears throat> let me show you guys what's going on. Okay, so this is a transmission pan that's rubbing right along here. So it looks like we got this just in, in the nick of time. There's a bolt that goes right there and right there. So if I didn't take care of this uh, now, Boy, we, we would have a bigger problem down the road. Let me change the ISO here just a little bit. Okay, hope you guys can see that. Okay, yeah, so the shiny part again, that's where the drive shaft has been grinding. That's where all the issue is right there for the front drive shaft, okay? So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna clean this up, then I'm gonna spray paint this thing black so then when we go on the trail, uh, we'll see if that paint rubs off that area right there. All right, you guys, so, so this drive shaft install was super easy. It took me about an hour for both front and the rear. Uh, and I'm really glad I did this upgrade. It, number one, just looks really cool. It's very low profile. I like the fact that it's got these Zerk fittings so that I can uh, service it, uh, you know, between trail runs. And I'm really excited to 
to see how this thing performs out on the trail coming up this weekend we're gonna be headed out to Barrett Trail which I heard is almost technical as uh, parts of Rubicon so we'll see if the drive shaft rubs against the bottom of the transmission pan and so I'll keep you guys posted uh, on the trail about that and then we're also going out to uh, Rubicon Trail in two weeks so if nothing happens at Barrett I'll keep you guys posted on Rubicon and let you know if this uh, aftermarket or Adam's drive shaft resolved the rubbing issue or the clearance issue or whatever so it turned out really good um, this is I hope that this is well worth the money we'll find out all right so just want to say thank you all of you for supporting our channel love you all and without your support I wouldn't be able to do all this so your support has allowed me to you know do these upgrades and share the uh, some of the knowledge and things like that with you guys on this channel and I really appreciate that uh, so have a great weekend God bless and we'll see you guys out on the trail